Ben Brust, Greg Scalzo, Josh DiMaggio, Alex G, you, the Scalzo and Brust family hanging out with Palermo's today, enjoying some delicious pizza here inside the Gruber Law Office, as one call, That's All Studios, and excited to be joined now by John Leonardo, our friend from Palermo's. And John, welcome back into Scalzo and Brust, hope everything's going well in your world, you're enjoying your summer. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good to uh, talk with you guys. Um, yeah, summer, uh, kind of hard to believe. It's For me, it's almost over. Uh, kids go back to school in three weeks, and wow. uh, you know, baseball just wrapped up last weekend, so uh, I finally have a, a few uh, free evenings uh, during the week and uh, trying to figure out what to do to keep myself busy. John, but, if I'm not uh, mistaken, yeah, you won a championship, right? Great. Uh, baseball championship? Yeah. No. Uh, I was hoping you no, were going to we, one-up we Tausch. Played, we, uh, no, we, we played for the championship. We unfortunately lost uh, wow, three to two in a really, really hard. Me. Oh, no, no. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure you saw my Facebook post and all that good stuff. But, you know, great group of kids, uh, really hard-fought game. I mean, the defense was phenomenal. Diving catches all over the place. The pitching, it was really a pitcher's duel. Both teams struggled to, to get hits. Uh, some, you know, just really stellar plays. I can't complain from Sounds like the that Brewers. standpoint. They never gave up. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, summer's good. How about you guys? You're you're not going to rip Ben. Well? You're not going to rip Ben, but I will. You can't ask that question without knowing if he won the I championship. I saw the Facebook post, but you know I'm a headline guy. I didn't even read the headline. I mean, Benny, you got to know before you ask that question. <laughs> Watch this or, save. Or at least keep it open-ended like, hey, well, how did the baseball season end? I Not, wanted to take you want a championship for going on vacation you? and missing the 100.5 ESPN Sun Prairie team's playoffs and losing and him being like, ugh. <laughs> but here's the best way to get out of a mess. Josh, you hit the breaking news sounder. Ooh. Oh, wait. Now this is some breaking news. <laughs> John, the floor is yours. Ah. <laughs> oh, and I love it. I even get a little Kesha to kind of kickstart this thing, right? Yes. Exactly. So, um, you know, so, so guys, I know the last couple times I've been on, I've been leading you on, kind of teasing you about some uh, big news behind our Screaming Sicilian brand, and really happy for the latest innovation from Screaming Sicilian. Uh, what you have in front of you there is the new... Screaming Sicilian Tavern Style Pizza. Ooh. This is a, a pizza that you know we completely reimagined, uh, built everything from scratch. It's a brand new crust uh, platform that our uh, uh, bakery scientists developed. Um, it's a extra thin, you know, we call it a cracker thin crust, so it gives you that nice little uh, crunch. Um, and really reminiscent of what you'd find at uh, taverns uh, throughout Wisconsin. Um, and so with it being Screaming Sicilian, of course, it has all the premium toppings that you've come to expect from the brand. And it's just, it's a phenomenal pizza. It's now, you know, I, it's like every time we come out with something new, I have a new favorite. But this one, everybody that has tried it just loves it. We had a customer was at the office just last week and we were preparing different things for the for the customer to try and they actually thought this was a pizza that we had ordered in from a pizzeria <laughs> that's how how good it was they they thought it was pizzeria pizza because it just it tastes so good as as you guys could attest to well yeah i mean john i always talk about palermo's and screaming sicilian because it's so screaming good being my celebra celebration pizza or something great happens but now the tavern pizza is it's taken over because it's going to remind me of you know playing youth soccer or basketball and going to the bar and having that tavern style pizza now i just have it at home after i you know play in my old man's basketball league and i can relive the youth baby the screaming sicilia tavern pizza yeah, no, a absolutely. And with it, you know, having five different varieties, uh, we have pepperoni, a pepperoni and sausage, a supreme, a sausage, and then the w famous Wisconsin, you know, cheesemo, the uh, cheese, sausage, mushroom, onion. There's there's something for everybody. Uh, you know, in fact, even today, I was you know talking to my wife and my daughter, and I was talking about this pizza, and they're like, they're like, oh, did you, did you bring any home? And of course, 
you know, I had my tail between my legs. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to bring some home. I was so busy last we time I was out. in the office and forgot to grab some. Yeah. So, so yes, yeah, so I think uh, that's my, my job tonight is to uh, go out to the store and uh, pick some up for the family. And, um, you know, for your listeners, um, you could start to find these in the stores uh, located near where you live. So a couple retailers, um, kind of off the top of my head, you know, Woodman's, Piggly Wiggly, Festival, Century, uh, they all carry it. They should have it on the shelf as I speak. Uh, Pick and Save and Metro Markets uh, should start seeing it on the shelves this week. So um, our sales team's doing a good job getting it out on the shelves. And um, we have a couple really good promotions as well. So to give you some incentive to try, Festival has it on sale two for 12, uh, but that ends tomorrow. So um, it's a really hot price. So uh, stop by Festival to pick that up. Otherwise, if you shop at Piggly Wiggly, uh, that's going to be on promotion starting tomorrow. And it's part of a buy seven, save $7 um, deal. So a lot of deals out there and, you know, more to come. But um, yeah, we're really excited about this, uh, this launch. It's a fantastic uh, pizza. I'm, I'm more of a thin crust fan myself, so this really caters to, um, to my liking. We're enjoying the pepperoni and sausage and the uh, uh, Supreme here uh, in the studio right now as we're talking to John Leonardo. Big news uh, right now coming out of Palermo's. You can now find their Screaming Sicilian Tavern-style pizza uh, at your local grocer's freezer. You just heard uh, uh, John go through uh, a list of places you could find it as we speak. But, John, since we are talking tavern-style pizza, I mean, what's the proper way to cut it? Are you cutting it into the triangles? Are you cutting it into the squares? Well, like, got to be some squares, I like, think, right? Yeah, I mean, what's the, oh. what's the go-to uh, cutting style for the tavern-style pizza? Yeah, it's, um, you know, for me, it's, it's the squares. That's the, uh, you know, really reminiscent of, you know, the tavern style pizza. That authenticity is uh, cutting it into the squares. So with this uh, particular pizza, what I'd recommend is three, three vertical, two horizontal, and you've got the perfect, uh, perfect, sli- perfect slice of uh, pizza to enjoy. Well, I can't wait to add it to the uh, to the mix, John. We got the stuffed crust cheese. We got the OG screamings. You know I love me some Mambo Italiano. Mambo. We have the thin and crispy, and we've added the tavern pizza. John, thanks for making the big announcement here on Scalzo and Brust. We love Palermo's. We love Screaming Sicilian. We love having you on. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, Catching up with you guys again soon, and hopefully have a few more uh, new things to share with you. Ooh, what about a mambo the from te- you? On the the way te- out? the tease master, John, getting me going. Uh, we've got a lot of things in the pipeline, so uh, yeah, you know, a few more months, and I'll be able to share an- another little uh, nugget with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's super exciting. Thank you, John. Appreciate it as always. And I'll apologize for Ben for uh, uh, hyping you up as a championship team when you guys fell one game short, but that's still heck of a season. Next year. Yeah. Yeah. Th- thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. <laughs> See you, John. John Leonardo, Palermo's Pizza. Find your tavern style screaming Sicilian pizza, that extra crispy cracker thin crust. Uh, absolutely delicious. Of course, always with premium ingredients available in five flavors. Good stuff, huh, buddy? It's absolutely delicious. You can't wait. It's so good. I couldn't wait. You just have to start eating it at the end of the segment. It's so good. I, I couldn't I- wait. Huh. <laughs> 